I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about the divergence and integral tests. In problem number 31, we'd like to answer the question, does the series sum k going from 3 to infinity of 1 over k minus 2 to the fourth does that series converge or diverge? And to answer this question, I'm going to use knowledge about P-series. And what a P-series is, is it's a series in this form. Some maybe in going from one to infinity of one over in to the P power. Now, what we know about P-series is if P is bigger than one, this thing will converge. And if P is less than or equal to one, it will diverge. All right, and I'm gonna use this knowledge now to help me with this series. Now, let me rewrite this series over here. I've got sum k going from 3 to infinity of 1 over k minus 2 to the fourth. And now I'm going to be a little bit tricky here, and I'm going to say, okay, I've got k plus minus 2 to the fourth. I'd like it to just be one letter to the fourth that would line up better with my p-series. So why don't I just let n be equal to k minus 2? So let's let n be equal to k minus 2. If that's true, then k would be equal to n plus 2. All right. Now, if I kind of make a substitution here, for k, then I can write this as the sum. Uh, k is n plus 2, so I could write n plus 2 goes from 3 to infinity of 1 over k minus 2 is n to the fourth. But if n plus 2 goes from 3 to infinity, that means that n, I could subtract 2 from both sides. This says I've got the sum in going from 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the fourth. But now you see that this is exactly a p-series. This was 2, it was just in a disguised form. But now we can see this is a p-series with p equals 4. If p is bigger than 1, it converges. So we know that this guy must converge because it's a p-series, which means that this guy also must converge. So uh, sum k going from 3 to infinity of 1 over k minus 2 raised to the fourth converges. And we are done.